my darlings, how are you all doing? I hope you're all okay. Oh my God, I've missed you all so much. I know it's only been two weeks, but two weeks is a long time in like YouTube world. Do you know what I mean? It really is. That's like half a dozen videos. Um, and I've, I've only put my holiday vlog up, haven't I? Well, the two holiday vlogs. And I didn't do a lot of talking or anything in that. Do you know what I mean? It was all about where I was. And I've really missed you. I really, genuinely have missed you all so much. I really have. So I, I think we, I think we need to have a hug. Let's hug it out. Oh, oh. <laughs> <coughs> that's right. Excuse me as well. I've got a stinking cold. Come back from Turkey with it. Um, it's all gone on my chest now. But I feel a bit better today. I was in bed all day yesterday. It's Friday today. Happy Friday. Uh, I spent all day in bed yesterday drinking hot lemon and honey and whiskey and trying to sweat it out to me. Uh, and I do feel a little bit better today. I've still got the headache though and yeah, a bit of a chesty cough. But I'm all right. Uh, I'm glad to be back home. We really did have a nice time in Turkey. But it's always nice to come back home, isn't it? Into your own bed and get back into, you know, your normal routine. Although I'm not back into any kind of routine yet. I haven't even unpacked. <laughs> I've done some washing. Um, you know, the stuff out the cases that needed washing. I've done that. And that's about it, really. Uh, yeah, I've done nothing. I'm still not back into a routine. But I've got loads to do. And I'll bring you along with me, you know, unpacking and cleaning and all that jazz as normal um yeah we had a lovely time in turkey and the second part the land of legends a lot of you were saying if you didn't know that i was in turkey you would have thought that i was in disney world well fun fact land of legends in antalya in turkey was originally built by disney it was going to be the turkish disneyland and at the very last minute, Disney pulled out. That's why the castle's there and everything looks all magical. And what happened, they pulled out. I don't know what the reason was. Disney pulled out. And <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. The Turkish government decided to carry on and build it into their own theme park and they called it Land of Legends. It is huge. I only seen a small portion of it. Uh, there's actually a hotel that you can go and stay at and actually stay on the, the resort. There's a theme park, there's a water world, all those shops, that was just a few of them. That shopping mall was huge and they were all high-end shops up there as well. None of your, uh, you know, real Turkish fakes. It was all the real stuff up there. Really, really high-end shops. Um, but it was beautiful and I'm so glad we went in the evening when it was all lit up because you can go there during the day, you know, and spend all day there. But we didn't want to go during the day because it was so hot. We couldn't function. We could not function during the day. All we did during the day, apart from when we went on the boat and on the buggies, is sea, beach, sea, beach. That's all we did for the 10 days, really, um, apart from the couple of trips that we did, because it was just so hot. A couple of times it overcome Les, because... As you know, he's got heart trouble and the last thing anybody with heart trouble needs is to get overheated. And he had a couple of funny turns while we was out there. And also coming back on the aeroplane from the heat. But he's okay now. He's fine. He's out in the, in the garden. He's in his garage. He's in his element. So, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know because quite a few of you said that it was looked like Disney World. Well, it is the Turkish Disney but not Disney, if you know what I mean. But it, it's absolutely beautiful. If ever you do go to Turkey, I highly recommend that you go to the Land of Legends and just see it for yourself because it was incredible. And we got there and Les hadn't been too well that day, but he, he pushed himself because he knew I really wanted to go. So we sat down in one of the bars for a, a coffee and I was quite hungry because we'd missed our dinner to go there. Um, so 
I ordered a smash burger. Oh my God, it's the best burger I have ever tasted in my life. And Les was like, that's a bold statement. You know, you love your burgers. And I, I said, I know. Best burger I've ever tasted in my life. Never had a smash burger before. So of course I had to come home and try and recreate what I'd eaten in Turkey. This smash burger. And I did. Um, I didn't film it because I thought, <laughs> I'll wait to see how they turn out first. Yeah. But I will show you the smashed burger recipe. So simple, so quick. So I'll share that with you. Um, in an upcoming vlog. Uh, what else is there to tell you? Apart from that I've missed you all so much. I've got quite a lot of content coming up. Um, I've had some beautiful stuff sent to me that I want to show you. Um, from two different companies. So that's another couple of videos. But today I'm going to show you what I actually bought in Turkey. I didn't buy a lot. I didn't. I only bought half a dozen things. Because... We did, we did go to the bazaar one day, um, but once you've been in one shop, they're all the same, they're all the same, they've all got the same stuff, and there was an actual shop in the hotel that we were staying in, so everything that I bought, apart from one thing I bought from inside the hotel, I didn't buy anything from the bazaars or anything this time, I just picked up a few things off this lovely man who ran the shop in the hotel, he was lovely, and Les bought some shirts as well, I think Les bought about nine shirts off him, and I bought half a dozen things off him as well. So, just before I show you what I got from Turkey, I just want to show you this pair of shoes that have been sent to me. Guys, I have been manifesting these shoes into my life for so long, so long, and this company messaged me, they're called Winnie Bags. I'll leave it here on the screen. I have worked with them before and they do all your replicas. And they says, you know, we enjoyed working with you. Do you want to choose something else off the website? And I says, can I choose a pair of shoes instead of a bag this time? And they was like, yeah, choose some shoes. And they'd got the shoes. You know what I'm like with shoes and bags, but oh my God, let me get them for you. So this is the box. They are Manola Blahnik shoes. Now, if you know, you know. If you don't, I'll tell you. These shoes were made famous by Carrie from Sex and the City. They were the first pair of shoes in the movie that she put into her closet that Big built for her and that she wore at a wedding. Oh my God, I've wanted them ever since I've seen the film. And now I've got a pair. So this is the packaging. I just want to say thank you to Windbags for sending me these. I really do appreciate that you sent them. And I'll leave all the links down below along with uh, any discount card that I've got. So they've got the Manola Blahnik writing and the Manola Blahnik paper inside. And it's a um, magnetic box. And these are the shoes. Oh my God, guys, wait till you see them. I'll get them out. I'll give you a quick glimpse. They're the carry shoes. I'm so excited. I'll just get them out of the packaging, okay? They also come with the Manal Blahnik dust bag as well. That's really nice quality. And these. Oh my God, I get so emotional out the shoes. It's sad, I know. But oh my God, look at these beauties. They are the Sex in the City shoes and they are absolutely gorgeous. This is the back, the heel. It's got the Manola Blahnik on the bottom. I have tried them on. Size 6. Actually, these it's got stickers over, I think. I think that's got a sticker over. Yeah, I think it has on the bottom. But how oh, beautiful are they? I'm going to put them on and I'll pan you down so you can see what they look like. I mean, they're got, not going to look right with this dress, but, um, well, actually, they don't look too bad with this dress at all. Oh, my God. I've got a wedding to go to as well, and I, I'm, I'm going to wear these shoes. I'm wearing these shoes. Let me just pan you down so you can actually see. 
I hope you can see. Look, look at those. They are stunning. They fit perfectly. They really do fit like a glove. Size six, absolutely beautiful. They did them in different colors as well, but I wanted the iconic blue, the same as Carrie from Sex in the City. And I absolutely love them. Absolutely, honestly, I can't tell you how much I love these shoes. I'm keeping them on. <laughs> Wear them in a bit. Okay, so once again, thank you to Winnie Bags for sending these stunning, stunning shoes. I absolutely love them. And if you want to go and check them out, they are on the more affordable side. They're not like really expensive. They're very affordable, um, inspired, designer inspired items on their website. Shoes, bags, belts, jewellery, trainers everything they've got all that kind of stuff on there so i'll leave everything linked down below for you right let's get into this little turkey haul okay first couple of things that i bought was just a couple of t-shirts these were to now in turkey they take lira euro dollars pounds whatever you've got they'll take your currency and we we got pounds so i'll tell you how much they cost in pounds so our first one is this Levi's one, black Levi's t-shirt, not bad quality. I only bought them for tatting around the house in and stuff like that. I thought with a pair of joggers or leggings, you know, when I'm doing my cleaning or chilling around the house, stuff like that. This one's a size large, uh, fits fine. I have tried it on, really nice uh, Levi's one. And I've also, I've worn this one and washed it since I've come back. I wore this on the journey home, this Tommy Hilfiger one. Again, just a little t-shirt. This one's in grey with the Tommy Hilfiger across there. And they were two for 15. He done me those for two for 15. They should have been 10 each, but you know, you've got to haggle when you're in Turkey. So I got them for two for 15. And then the next thing that I bought was this Dior bag, which has broken because I've overloaded it. It's my own fault. It's a backpack and I absolutely rammed it full of stuff. It's hanging on by a thread. So I've just got to, I'm going to re-stitch that on there. It just needs stitching back on. And this I'm keeping for future holidays, travel, stuff like that. That's what I bought it for. So it's just this Dior print backpack it's got the dior there it's not fabulous quality it was 10 euros at uh, 10 pounds sorry it's just a backpack so you know i didn't expect it to be the best quality thing in the world but it served its purpose while i was on holiday i used it uh, from the day i bought it basically i used it every day and as i say i have allowed it with like you know my towel and Everything else, the sun creams, no, not sun creams, because I didn't use any sun creams, but yeah, everything went in there, my fags, my phone, my gimbal, I'd always got my passport with me, my, my money and stuff like that, so yeah, and on the way back, it was loaded with snacks for on the aeroplane, and that's when this happened, so yeah, I've got to um, just stitch that, which will take two minutes, so I'm just going to put that, stitch it and put it back in my suitcase, ready for our next trip which is going to be in the new year so yeah bought a little deal bag and the next thing that i bought i got myself a gucci cap again i hadn't got a hat and i didn't realize how what it was going to be so yeah i decided to just pick me up um a little cap just for holidays again five pounds cheap as chips it's very dusty because i wore it when we went to the um buggy safari i wore it that day so it's quite dusty it needs a bit of a brush off but yeah for five five pounds you know what's not to like and it's just got the velcro at the back and i did wear that quite a bit when i was out there to keep the sun off my head next thing that i got was 
this Gucci belt. I've wanted one of these for ages. Now, I bought this when we were on our way home. You always stop off at like, um, at like, um, like a services on the side of the road where you can get a food, drink, toilet, and they sell the bags and everything on there as well. And I saw this Gucci belt and I've wanted one for ages. And this was only five pounds as well. It's really good quality, this one is. It really is for a fiver. So I really like that. It's just plain black, fits perfect with a little gold GG on the front. So yeah, five pounds for a, a Gucci belt. I also bought this beach bag. It's beautiful. This was again, 10 pounds. This is really, really good quality. It's like this, um, it, it almost feels like crochet, but thicker. It's really, really nice quality with the Chanel in the brown. Really liked it, used this a lot as well while I was on holiday. I bought this when we was going on the boat trip. Um, yeah, 10 euros. It's quite big inside. Can fit everything in there, beach towels, everything inside there. Really like that one. Again, this is just gonna go back into my suitcase, ready for next holiday. Love that one, 10 pounds. And the last couple of things, the last couple of things that I bought were some sliders. I wore these as well. The first pair was these Dior ones, Christian Dior in this nude colour, Christian Dior across the front. Perfect for holidays, as I say, I've wore these numerous times while I was away. These were uh, two pairs, I had two pairs, this pair, size six, and I also had this pair, the Chloe ones, to match my Chloe bag. Uh, these two pairs were 15, two for 15, and as you can see, I've wore them as well, and they're really comfortable, because um, Rosie Tilly, she bought the, the real ones, the Chloe ones, she paid a hell of a lot of money for them, and she says there was the most uncomfortable thing that she'd ever wore in her life. Um, but these are really, really soft. I think the ones that Rosie had got, this was quite hard, and they really hurt her feet, so she, she sold them on, I think, um, on Vinted. So yeah, I've got these, and they're really soft, and they're really comfortable. I've wore them, love them. Again, they're gonna go in my case, back in my case for my next holiday. So that is everything that I picked up while I was on holiday this time in Turkey. And um, yeah, just thought I'd share it with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, and you're new around here, please click the subscribe button down below, turn on the notification bell, and you'll be notified each time that I do upload, which is normally three plus times a week. All sorts of content I do here. Um, it's a lifestyle channel. I do fashion, beauty, try-ons, vlogs, hauls, clean with me, travel. I just generally share my everyday life with you so if that's the kind of stuff that you like then please do consider subscribing and sticking around it'll be great to have you join my little youtube family i love you guys loads and i have genuinely missed you all so much uh, i'm back now all the content will be coming i've got to decorate for autumn christmas is round the corner you guys know i love christmas so yeah um I'll probably be spamming you with Christmas content very, very soon. Because <laughs> you know me, I am like a Christmas fanatic. Uh, yeah, lots of lovely content coming up for you. Um, uh, so I hope you'll join me for all of that. Uh, I'm going to go because it is now 20 to 4. I have got some other content to film. Um, I've got another two videos that I need to film today. Uh, so, if I've still got the same clothes on, don't judge me. I'm filming all in one day, but I probably will get changed, to be fair. <laughs> we have got a wedding to go to on Sunday. 
uh, which I'm really looking forward to. I'll include it in a vlog. We're staying at a beautiful place, beautiful, stately home, hotel kind of thing. The wedding's being held there. We're staying overnight. So I'll share all that with you as much as I can in an upcoming vlog as well. So yeah, that's me done for today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you all on Monday. Thanks for joining me again today and spending a little bit of time with me. I'm so happy to be back with you guys and I will see you all really, really soon. I love you guys loads. See you Monday. Bye.